Hey there guys, Mr. Shore Hitter here. As you can see, today is not the best day to be filming anything. I had a video planned for today which it involved basically playing your best golf in 2024. As I often have to do, I'm going to pivot today and I'm going to play a couple holes with this Mizuno 566 RB Max. I think it's 566 RB Max. Or maybe it's just RB Max. Mizuno RB Max. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? I got a par 4 that's 380. I got a par 5 that we're going to play from about 500. And then get the numbers. It is very wet out here too, guys. So this hole is going to play pretty long. I actually like the cover on this a little bit better than that cover on the RB566. The RB566 had... It's like dimple on dimple or dimple in dimple. Okay, so I can see a cart path up there and I can kind of make out the fairway. Felt a little healy, felt like it was going down the right side of the fairway, I believe. So guys, I finally found the limitation of the Sigmund range finder that I talked to you about because this fog is so thick I couldn't get the yardage with the Sigmund or the GoGo -Go Sport rangefinder. So I just walked it off old school because I didn't bring my GPS watch. I didn't think I'd need it. 185 to the middle of the green here. I think I know where that is. <laughs> Everything is playing long. I'll hit a high wood. I'm not even sure that can get there, but I think three wood would be long. Off of feel, off of looks of the cover. It is a little firmer than that, the 566, I believe. Kind of like it a little more. Nice, solid, firm feel. Not overly hard, but a pretty good feel to the ball so far. And I hit that dead left. So, I don't know what's over there. Okay, guys, I see what's over here. A big, gaping, wet bunker. I'm going to take a 58. It's not extremely hard. I think I can almost hit a normal bunker shot here. It's a little firm. So we'll square it up instead of opening it up. And it's going to hit a normal shot. Not to dig too much. Not the best, but... I'll have to do. Hey guys, so this cover is more like a, just a normal, normal cover. I'll show you the 566. It had a little, like the dimple and dimple, almost like a, can't remember the ball that had that. Top like D2 maybe. Downhill and a little to the left. more to the left all right so this hole playing about 520 i can see there's a willow out there on the left that I believe is the water on the left and i see an evergreen in the distance so kind of have a line on where we want to hit this golf ball playing about 520 water on both sides here i'm gonna play this one right down the middle pretty good ball feels nice nice and firm we hit that one just a little bit high and off the toe but felt pretty good there is water on the right up there and water on the left but that's left i can kind of see the outline of a cart path so the water on the left is left of that cart path we're going to take this kind of down the left side of the fairway then and we'll hit a high wood here. Went down the left side of the fairway and that is probably the best high wood that I've struck 
from the fairway in a long time. So guys, as I walk to this ball, do me a favor. I know that a lot of you are watching my content and are not subscribed to the channel. So do me a favor. If you enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for me. Appreciate that. And let me know in the comment section your favorite type of video. I do ball reviews, some club reviews. I'm trying to get more into club reviews. Kind of tougher to get clubs, but I'm working on it. Club comparisons and golf vlogs and lots of other golf stuff. So leave down in the comment section what your favorite type of content is and also any ideas you have for content. Got a lot planned for the winter. Do share quite a few golf tips also. It's a good shot, left side of the fairway. A little bit past the 125 there. Let's see if it's too much fog for this rangefinder still. Yes, yeah, it has a seven yard, so a little too, too much fog there. So 125 there, we're about 118 to the middle of the green. Pin looks like it's towards the front. We're going to go, nine iron should get us to the middle. Don't really want to flirt with the front of this green. So I'll carry over, over water here. If we go to the back edge of the green, that does not hurt one bit. Okay, so probably best thing can happen. We miss hit it a little bit, which should get us no further than the middle of the green, maybe on the front side near the pin. It was going a little left. From 50 yards, the RB Max launched almost 6 degrees higher than the Pro V1, had over 2,000 RPM less spin. This is one of the lowest spinning balls that I've tested from 50 yards. The descent 3 degrees steeper, peak height 1 yard higher. With the 7 iron, the RB Max performed very close to the Pro V1, ball speed the same, launch and spin really close, descent, peak height, carry, and total all very close to the Pro V1. With the 4 hybrid, I found some really interesting numbers with the RB Max. The ball speed, one mile per hour slower, launch one yard higher, spin 1000 RPM less, the descent two degrees more shallow, peak height the same, and carry six yards longer, total nine yards longer than the Pro V1. This was the most carry that I can recall with a 4 hybrid of any ball that I've tested. With the driver, the RB Max had 1 mile per hour less ball speed, very close on the launch, very close on the spin, and very close with the carry and total. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see how my swing holds up under tournament conditions, click the video to my left. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter. Out. I rose to go, just play 13. Need to palm away, yeah. Gotta hit more greens.